Everybody is talking about germs these days. Make sure you wash your hands, cough into your elbow, maybe elbow bump people instead of handshake. Stay six feet away. There is a company known as Millspin that's made a product called the COVID Key. I know what you're thinking. All of this quarantining has finally gotten to Jeff's head and he's gone crazy. He's already done this review. Doesn't he remember? Well, that's true. I did do this review and I do use this on a daily basis, but the company reached out to me with an updated video on how to use it as a, a touch pen or a stylus or whatnot for those electronic devices. If you remember from my first video, I couldn't get it to work. So here, we're gonna give it a second try. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews For You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like it. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's see if this COVID key can really work on those touch screens. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the COVID key. This one was purchased directly from the Millspin website. It is made out of brass. I have a finger hole right here, and look, it's even notched out here for my other finger to fit comfortably. I've got a hole for a key ring. This right here is just for grip purposes. I can open door latches this way. I can do it this way. I can lock and unlock from here. But what we're gonna be looking at today is this flat surface for the stylus feature. Now, I said I purchased this from their actual website. As of right now, when this video was shot, they do not sell this on Amazon. And just a little bit of advice, they there are companies that are advertising COVID key, and they're actually made in China. They're not made of brass, they're covered in brass, and they just don't do the same thing. So make sure you don't get suckered into, oh, you get three for $20, because most likely those won't do what you want it to do. Now, that being said, there are companies that make this right here in the USA that sell it on Amazon. Just be careful which one you buy. It's not always the best to buy the cheapest one that you can find. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this feature out. I'm gonna use my cell phone right here. On the website, they tell you that you're supposed to hit it with a tip and maybe roll down. You're using this flat surface. I find that if I just hit the flat surface, it actually works better. See, oh, I almost deleted the app. Try it again. There, see how it just opened? I find that sometimes you're gonna have to push down just a little bit of, of pressure. Um, there's nine, let's see. Sometimes it takes a little bit of working. Nine times six equals, and it's all about hitting on the flat. Sometimes if I hit the tip or the back, it doesn't connect, it's the whole flat part. All right, so I'm gonna sort of try to demonstrate the signature part. Oh, look at that guy, I know him. Um, and we'll just use a picture, let's see. Where is the edit, there it is. And if I have a pen selected, and watch, I'm gonna use the flat surface, and I'm gonna write all over the screen doing my signature. That sort of models what it would be like signing your name. Um, it's very similar to what would be there. Just make sure it's completely flat. If it's too far forward or too far back, it's not making the connection. Now, let's go try this out in a few different stores. Instead of just poking at the screen, you're actually supposed to hit it with the tip and come down. And see how it just made it work? So now I'm gonna look up an item, do it Select again. From list or key in the My code. number is 4378, so let's do that. Whoop. A little sensitive, four. Mm, not working there, three. Oop, too many. Oh. Try it again. Select from list or key in the item's code. Hmm. So it is a little sensitive depending on the, um, the touch screen. It does work some, but not on all. All right, so there I got. So, tell me, what do you think? of the COVID key. Is this something that you need on your keychain? Would you use this on a regular basis? Maybe open doors, close doors, lock doors, whatever. Is this something you would use? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love 
to hear from you. Let's see if this works. Yeah, see that worked there too. Insert cash for select. Let's try it here, same thing. Do on the side. It's a rolling motion. And I'm gonna use some. You know what? It actually worked, right? So it did exactly what it's supposed to do if you hit the tip and roll. I will say some of it could have been user error. Some of it could have been the touchscreen maybe being old or in the corners it doesn't work well. I don't know, but I would say for the most part, this has been working. I'm going to try it out now at another store. And this is a funny story because every time I use this, I have to explain what it is because people are like, what is that thing? And so the lady was really, really rooting for me and she absolutely let me try it out. Um, I originally thought there were buttons on the screen. So I was hitting it and she's looking at me like, what are you doing? And I thought, I said, I'm trying to hit this button. She goes, you know, that's just a screen and those don't mean anything. And I did not. Anyway, so then I cashed out and she said, now try it. And there um, you'll see, you'll get to see what happened here. Oh, don't, don't tell me it's not going to work. Maybe it's all the all the solutions you're putting on there. No, but it's not working. Huh. Oh, oh there it there goes. goes. Yeah, Yay. Yeah, tries. So I looked and looked and looked for a place where I could use this and sign. But for some reason, no matter how much I was spending, no one wanted me to sign it. So I could not test the actual signature part. I did get to test it. Um just using it and it does work. It takes a little bit of getting used to. It's not a typical stylus where you just tap. You actually tap and roll. So just make sure you know that. Um, remember I said earlier that I use this on a daily basis. That is no joke. And let me show you a few of the things that I do during the day using my COVID key. Okay, not bad. Now, like I said before, I was very happy with the COVID key, just using it as a door opener, a light switch, maybe filling a cup of coffee. All those things I thought were a good idea and a good use, I was sort of like, ah, eh, it's okay, I won't use it as a stylus. I was really grateful that Millspin, the company that made this particular COVID key, um, reached out and said, hey, check this out, this is how you do it. They were super nice very respectful people and I appreciate that and I said you know what normally I don't do this but I'm going to put out a second review showing off this feature because I think people need to know. Anyway today we're looking at the COVID key primarily the touch features if you didn't see my first video I'll make sure to link it at the end. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always thanks for stopping by I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the COVID key, the brass antimicrobial key from the company called Millspin. Well, technically it's my second review, um, and I really do appreciate that they reached out to me. I know I already said this, but those people were just so nice and kind and polite. I will also say I am not sponsored by them whatsoever. These are just my honest opinions. And I do appreciate that they reached out so I could show you how to use the stylus part because I think a lot of people would be interested in that. Now, keeping along the themes of being sanitary and clean, not that long ago, I did a review of this product called Zero Germ. Do you remember this? It actually uses UV lights to cleanse your phone, remote, keys, etc. It retails between $20 and $40 depending on which retailer you go to. And I will have a link of this one in the description if you are interested. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link the Zero Germ review right up here. But as I promised in the video, I'm also gonna link the original COVID key review over here. So depending on which video you want, 
go ahead and click one of the links. Do me a favor though, make sure you're logged into YouTube so you can see one of these two things pop up and I don't look like a crazy person. And by the magic of the internet, regardless of which link you click, I'm gonna show up there and watch it with you. Go ahead and click them, they're safe, I promise.